hard to describe just because, you know, I feel like the regular life is go to, jo go to your work nine to five and on the weekends you just kind of, you know, hang out at the house with your friends or something, you know, and it's like during the week we ride and work on our bikes and it's kind of the same thing, but it's not, you know, and then we, we travel, we all drive to these remote locations out in the middle of nowhere and just to ride in dirt, you know, that we have dirt in our backyard, but we drive eight hours or whatever to go ride dirt somewhere else. It's just, it's totally different. You just can't really describe it unless, you know, someone has that same passion to ride. It's like, you just can't even, they just don't understand, you know. If I didn't do it, I would have been regretting it my whole life, uh, you know, not leaving Australia. So it was definitely something I've always wanted to do since I was a young kid, you know, watching the GNCCs, looking up to Glenn Carney and Josh Strang. Then there's just uh, a much closer bond here with all the families and the off-road racing is a really, really tight-knit group and um, for sure anybody would do anything for anyone to help out and get everybody through. Whether my results were good or bad, I always, it kept me going, kept me coming to the race and just, it's like a family, it's like another big family to me and you know, it's like when you don't see your racing family for three weeks, it's like, man, I want to I wanna get back racing, so it's more of a family kind of thing and you know, I just like riding my dirt bike.